U.S. President Joe Biden has secured a deal with Egypt to deliver limited aid to Gaza to ease a humanitarian crisis amid the Israel-Hamas war. Visiting Tel Aviv, U.S. President Biden has stated that Israel had a right to hit back for the Hamas terror attack that triggered the fighting. The U.S. President has stated that Israel has been badly victimized, though he cautioned against being consumed by rage. He also backed Israel's account that a blast at a Gaza hospital was not caused by an Israeli airstrike. Meanwhile, Egypt President el-Sisi has agreed to open the Rafah border crossing to allow roughly 20 trucks to provide humanitarian aid to Gaza. Uh, but to, speaking about Gaza, let's in fact take a look at uh, the hospital at which you could see horrific sights of innocent Palestinians being killed. I have with me on the big video wall right here uh, the location. Let's play it again so that our viewers can have a look at the exact location which has been pinpointed over here. It's called the Al Ahali Hospital. It is in Gaza and these are the visuals. This is the hospital that was attacked. These are the devastating visuals that can be seen. You can see people, of course, are holding their head in uh, despair. Um, let's keep a focus on the visuals itself. Let's keep a screen. Uh, let's keep, yeah, there you can see the suffering of the women. It's the visuals that are important at this point of time. You can see the suffering of the children, of the women, and the devastation that you can see people holding a Minnie Mouse a toy of a little child. Uh, meanwhile, at this point, uh, you can also see, uh, you know, Rafa crossing down there. That's through which the aid will uh, cross from Egypt into Gaza. This is the route right here and it will uh, pass through all these locations. We marked it out in red for you till Gaza City. But with me on the broadcast, is uh, my colleague Akshit. Akshit, over to you. Uh, what more can you tell our viewers? Well, of course, uh, President Joe Biden was in Israel for a very high-stakes st uh, high visit because, of course, uh, it was risky also and it was full of challenges also. Uh, but as Biden uh, said in a, a tweet also, uh, saying that he asked some tough questions as, uh, uh, as they are a friend of Israel and, of course, uh, 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 they, uh, he also held uh, a lot of talks with uh, the Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu also uh, and, a day, and he visited Israel a, a day after the deadly explosion which took at a hospital in Gaza which actually fueled uh, protests across the Middle East also uh, and uh, the President Joe Biden uh, also perhaps and the US also uh, said that according to their assessment uh, it seems that uh, 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 Israel uh, has no role to play in, in the deadly explosion which took place at the Gaza hospital uh, because Israel has also continuously been uh, saying that uh, this, this uh, blast was actually done by uh, Palestinian Islamic Jihad and they also showed footage also yesterday uh, uh, showing, uh, showing the whole detailed map uh, as to uh, from where the, uh, uh, the rocket site also uh, the rocket launching site and the Gaza hospital site also. Uh, so uh, and because their uh, IDF spokesperson also held a press conference yesterday, uh, saying that they they have a no role to play uh, in this uh, air strike on Gaza hospital in which more than 400 people have actually lost their lives. Uh, but of course, the big thing uh, after the Biden's visit, uh, Israel said that it will allow food, uh, medicines, uh, and water supply. Uh, to enter the blockaded Gaza Strip from Egypt, uh, from uh, from the borders of Egypt the, uh, at the Rafah crossing. And of course, uh, the people uh, in Gaza can actually now heave a sigh of relief because uh, for the last 10 days, uh, it was actually under siege, a complete blockade by Israel uh, and a humanitarian crisis was actually mounting there. Uh, and now they can, uh, it, it actually uh, shows some ray of hope for them because now water, medicine and uh, food uh, can ac actually pass uh, through the borders of Egypt uh, because that's what uh, US President Joe Biden also said uh, that uh, he uh, spoke with the President uh, uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of Egypt and uh, to, to deepen their coordination uh, to actually de-escalate their wars. Of course, uh, that is also uh, uh, after, after 10 days, uh, that, that's a major crack uh, which is now uh, being seen and uh, of course after uh, Biden's visit it remains to be seen as to how uh, both Israel and Hamas uh, 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 are they also able to come uh, at some uh, ceasefire or not. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.